Tuscaloosa to Frenzy! Express. Wow. Roll Tide and welcome to the Crimson Tide Production Studio at Brian Denny Stadium. I'm Roger Hoover, joined by Kenzie Hughes, and you just saw Alabama sophomore Nick Dunlap sink the final putt on hole number 18 to win the American Express PGA Tour event. What a moment and what a win for the sophomore from Huntsville, Alabama. Dunlap becomes the first amateur to win a PGA Tour event since Phil Mickelson in 1991. Dunlap won the American Express with this six-foot putt on hole 18 in La Quinta, California. He won by one stroke, finishing the 72-hole tournament 29 under par. Dunlap, at just 20 years old, became the youngest PGA Tour event winner since Chick Evans way back in 1910. That's over 100 years by my count, which is crazy impressive. Very impressive. With the win, the Crimson Tide sophomore earned PGA Tour membership through the 2026 season, as well as exemptions into all 2024 signature events, including the Masters and the PGA Championship. Dunlap becomes the 11th different Alabama golfer to win a PGA Tour event. Alabama men's golf head coach Jay Sewell was there on hand for Dunlap's historic win. You know, Coach Sewell was certainly excited for that win. You also know they celebrated with the victory milkshake that we always see after the incredible win by Dunlap. Hey, I'd take one right now <laughs> if they're giving them out. But this team was on the way back from Kiva Dunes, and they watched that moment on the team van. Here's their reaction, filmed by Alabama golfer Cannon Claycomb. Come on, Nick. Come on, dude. Oh, my God! Well, the energy in that van is just off the charts. It's so cool to see those guys so proud for their teammate. And check this out. Talking about rising in the rankings, Dunlap made the biggest jump in official world golf ranking history. Before the tournament win, Dunlap was 4,129th. With the win in the American Express, he jumped over 4,000 spots to 68th, which is incredible. He continues to etch his name in the golf history books, and he's only 20 years old, Roger. And also, back in August, Kenzie Dunlap joined Tiger Woods as the only golfers to ever win both the U.S. Junior Amateur and U.S. Amateur Championships. Dunlap also led Team USA to a victory at the World Amateur Team Championship for the first time since 2014. Dunlap finished the fall season as the number one ranked collegiate golfer. He met with the media on Thursday to make an announcement about his future. It's an exciting day for the University of Alabama. And I've known his dreams, um, and I'm honored that he gave us the opportunity to coach him in all, and to see him realize his dreams on that last hole is, is why we coach. For the first time since 1991, an amateur has won on the PGA Tour. Nick Dunlap wins the American Express. Wow. Thank you for being here. Um, first off, I, I just want to say that, um, you know, choosing the University of Alabama is, is by far the, the greatest decision I've ever made. First off, my parents, um, to, to all my friends and, and family and, and Izzy, Coach Sewell, and to my teammates and, and the people that are watching. They've, uh, through all the ups and downs, they've always been there. Um, but I, I truly do have the best team and I'm, I'm very grateful to, to say that. Um, love you guys and, you know, being, being your teammate has, has been a blast for me. At this time, I do want to announce that um, I am turning professional. Um, I'm accepting my PGA Tour membership, and I'm going to debut at uh, the Pebble Beach AT&T Pro Am. Thank you. <clears throat> 
Congratulations to Nick, and we can't wait to cheer him on in his professional golf career. Coach Sewell has helped several former Crimson Tide golfers move on to the pros. The Tide has quite a roster in the PGA, and now there's one more with Nick Dunlap. Stay with us. We'll head over to the hardwood and talk about some Crimson Tide basketball when we return. Tide TV This Week is presented by the University of Alabama, where legends are made. Ford, visit your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the Crimson Tide. And for the first time since 2010, the Alabama Crimson Tide is an NCAA region. Here today as we introduce Rob as the next head coach of Alabama baseball. I don't need to sell Alabama. <laughs> This program has laid the foundation. Now it's time for us to knock down the gates of Omaha. And we're going to do that here real soon. Welcome back to Tide TV This Week. Head coach Nate Oates and the Alabama men's basketball team began SEC play at 4-0. Crimson Tide took that undefeated record into Knoxville this past weekend to take on the six-ranked Tennessee Vols. On the hardwood, the men's basketball team went on the road to Knoxville this past Saturday with a six-game win streak and an undefeated record on the line. Tennessee jumped out to an early 14-7 lead just five minutes into the game and would keep it heading into the half with a score of 50-37. In the second half, the Volunteers continued to stay ahead. Despite 15 points from Mark Sears in the closing 20 minutes, the Alabama men's basketball team dropped their first SEC game of the season in Knoxville, 91-71. On Wednesday night, the Tide returned home to Coleman Coliseum to host the eighth-ranked Auburn Tigers. Entering the matchup against the Tide, the Tigers were 16-2 and undefeated in SEC play at 5-0. Auburn would jump out with an early lead, taking their first lead again seven minutes into the contest on a three-point shot from Latrell Reitzel Jr. That's how Alabama got in front. Tide knocked down eight first-half three-pointers as Bama finished the half on a 9-0 run. Let's take a 14-point lead at the break, 44-30. Bama led the entire second half until Auburn retook the lead at 58 to 57 with just over nine minutes remaining. But the Tide answered right back and never trailed again. Up by three with under a minute to play. Grant Nelson follows up a Mark Sears miss layup and slammed it home to give Bama the five point lead 75 to 70. Alabama made their free throws in the final seconds to hold on for the win as Alabama defeated number eight Auburn 79 to 75. Mark Sears led a balanced offensive attack with 22 points, 5 rebounds, and a season-high 8 assists. Grant Nelson picked up the team's second double-double and his first of the season with 14 points and 11 rebounds on the night. Latrell Reitzel Jr. added 14 points and 9 boards as Ryland Griffin scored 14 of his 17 points in the first half and finished the contest with a career-best 5 three-pointers in the victory. Also at the half, the Crimson Tide were honored once again with the Foy Oak Sportsmanship Trophy. The trophy goes to the winner of the annual Iron Bowl game, which the Crimson Tide won 27-24 on that incredible 4th and 31 play. Malachi Moore, Jalen Milrow, and Greg Byrne were on hand to accept the trophy. But this is nothing new, Rogers. Alabama has won four in a row over Auburn in 50 of the 88 Iron Bowl matchups. So a big win over 8th-ranked Auburn, handing the Tigers their first SEC loss of the season as the Tide improved to 13-6 and 5-1 and and in the SEC. Let's call all access with the Tide for that big win in Coleman Coliseum on Wednesday night. Both teams have a similarity. They don't have that big marquee win. This would be a marquee win for both teams. The Apple Watch just telling me that I'm in a loud environment. No kidding. The Alabama Crimson Tide, the Auburn Tigers. Stevenson with a flush and a good pass from Sears. Alabama up at this place on fire. But the Coleman Coliseum crowd on its feet. There's a three. And Rachel is a 43% three-point field goal shooter. Hardest lead of the night for Alabama. This is no tennis match for Alabama. This building is off the charts. This is basketball. And for only the second time this season, Auburn trails at the half. Sears against Bruce lays it up and in. 
challenging the big man. To Ryland, steps into it. Oates and Pearl exploring their teams. Really good rebound in traffic by Grant Nelson. Oh, absolutely yes with a flush. Cloud back on its feet with 90 seconds to go, leading by three. It's still a one possession game. Let's see if Nelson's able to make these two free throws. No good. Rebound Nelson. Foul broom. Alabama will win it 79-75 in a statement game. Tennis match felt more like a boxing match tonight as the Crimson Tide win. What a night in Alabama. Final score 79 75. What a scene at Coleman Coliseum. Whoever shows up needs to be as loud as they can possibly be. It is just as loud here. At Coleman Coliseum tonight. But Alabama able to battle and fight and dig down and show toughness and grit. I thought that the crowd was unbelievable. I'm telling you, this place is rocking right now. Alabama fans at Coleman Coliseum have been so good all year long. These fans deserve it. Welcome back to Tide TV This Week. For those of you who missed it, Roger and I had a front row seat to an electric week inside of Coleman Coliseum from the Crimson Tide faithful. That's right. Record-breaking attendance was a highlight specifically on the women's basketball side when the LSU Tigers came to town. After starting the game down seven in the first quarter, Alabama put together a run of nine straight points before heading into the second quarter, leading by one at 16 to 15. Before the half, after trailing 34-27, senior three-point specialist Aaliyah Nye and point guard Loyal McQueen gave the Tide an 8-0 run to put the Crimson Tide ahead going into the break, 35-34. Alabama was leading in the first half by Aaliyah Nye as she connected on four of eight from beyond the arc for 18 points. However, a huge third quarter would swing the momentum in favor of the Tigers as they run home the win in front of a record-breaking crowd at Coleman Coliseum. Final score, 78-58. After the loss to LSU, the women's basketball team had another tall task, this time on the road at Auburn. Facing a Tigers team that had just upset the reigning national champions in LSU the previous week. Auburn got off to a hot start in this one, scoring the game's first 10 points before eventually leading 22-6 headed into the second quarter. Over the next 10 minutes, Alabama outscored the Tigers 24-18, cutting the deficit to just 10 at the half. The Tide carried its second quarter momentum into the third, going on an 8-0 run and taking its first lead of the game, heading into the final frame with a score of 51-50. In the end, the Tigers would come out on top 78-65. Jessica Timmons led the way with the Crimson Tide with a career-high 26 points to go along with a team-best six rebounds on the day. Roger, you know me well enough to know that while Tide Hoops has my heart, the Alabama gymnastics team definitely makes some tough competition, especially with the start that they have had to their season. The third-ranked gym tide is off to one of the hottest starts that we've seen in a while. In the meet last Friday, Alabama remained undefeated thanks to not one, not two, but three season-high rotation scores in the 197-525 draw against fourth-ranked Arkansas. Season highs of nine from Lily Hudson and 9925 from Luisa Blanco got the tide rolling on the vault early in the meet. The uneven bars also recorded a dominant performance from Alabama, revealing a 49-6 on the event, which was just shy of the program record. By the final rotation, Arkansas had retaken the lead before Lily Hudson stepped up to perform a clutch floor routine, contributing her own 995 season high on floor to even the score and remain undefeated. The Alabama gymnastics team will be back inside Coleman Coliseum on Friday, February 2nd against another top 10 opponent as Kentucky travels to Tuscaloosa. As we go to break, we've got more on Alabama gymnast Makari Doggett. Stay with us. We've got more wins coming at you in just a few. So the Beat Change Meet <laughs> is a meet that we recently came up with because we felt it was super important to use our platforms for different causes. And we each get to pick our own to support our cause. Put them on, Cam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And mine is just 
I guess the overall experience that kids experience in the juvenile detention center. So I go to the Tuscaloosa Detention Center and I go mentor the kids and talk to them, do activities with them and just give them a person that they can talk to. Um, and that has been probably the most rewarding thing that I've ever done. But um, yeah, so everybody gets to do something like that, go talk to whoever they want to and just go do um, what they feel is best in our community. Be the Change is, I think, a huge thing for me just with like how I've grown up and just seeing everything in our world right now. We need people like us to go out into our communities and make a difference. Um, I think for me, it just means that I have a bigger purpose than just gymnastics and gymnastics does end, but what am I gonna do once that ends and how am I gonna make a change in other people's lives? So for me, it's super important to do that and to start here while I can so it can carry on to the rest of my life. Great competitor, just beautiful to watch from start to finish. I am blown away. Practice is paying off, and she knows it. The tens were contagious tonight. It's going to be a big number. And stick that landing. Beautiful landing. Oh my God. What a moment for the Crimson Tide. Welcome back to the Crimson Tide Production Studio right here inside of Bryant Denny Stadium. He is Roger Hoover. I am Kinsey Hughes, and this is Tide TV This Week. Spring sports season is here, which means Alabama Athletics calendar has been loaded with high-level competition across a variety of playing fields. The first of which is the Alabama Aquatic Center, where the Alabama swim team broke a trio of facility records that have been standing for as long as 20 years. In the final home meet of the year against cross-state rival Auburn, new records from Charlie Hawk, Avery Wiseman, and the women's 200 medley relay team just would not be enough on senior day as the swim and dive team went down at home in both the men's and women's meets. In their first match of the day, the Alabama women's tennis team swept Furman with a 7-0 victory in the match. Two doubles pairs brought home the victory to go along with six wins on the single side. Four Alabama athletes contributed a victory in both categories. In the second matchup of the doubleheader, Alabama faced UAB. Alabama set the tone early by collecting the doubles point, then proceeded to take its momentum into the singles with straight set victories for the second time of the day. The Crimson Tide will be back at home on Friday, February 9th to take on Kansas State at 3 p.m. On the men's side, Alabama dropped the first match of a doubleheader in a 4-3 decision to 20th ranked FSU, but then followed it up the same day with an impressive sweep against Jacksonville State. Stay with us. We'll have our plays and players of the week coming up next. Tide TV This Week is presented by the University of Alabama, where legends are made. Ford, visit your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the Crimson Tide. And for the first time since 2010, the Alabama Crimson Tide is an NCAA region. Here today as we introduce Rob as the next head coach of Alabama baseball. I don't need to sell Alabama. Start the party for the right field. This program has laid the foundation. Now it's time for us to knock down the gates of Omaha. And we're going to do that here real soon. Here's Sears with it. Bounce past Stevens. Out to the right. Gets into the paint. Flips it outside. Riley Griffin. Three by. Great start for Riley Griffin. Oh boy. Griffin's two for two. Griffin again. Oh, he's three for three. No hesitation. Griffin again. Oh, wow. Four for four. Five on the shot clock. Down to three. Nelson to the rack. Oh, mercy. A reverse slam. Grant Nelson, an in one opportunity. With five on the shot clock. Can't allow him to go that way. He drives with the right. No. Nelson with an emphatic follow flush. History in the desert for the first time since 1991. An amateur has won on the PGA Tour. Nick Dunlap wins the American Express. Wow.
Those are the plays of the week brought to you by Legacy of Hope. Now, let's take a look at our players of the week. And we've got some good ones this week, Raj. Starting off, Lily Hudson performed the last event for the Crimson Tide against fourth-ranked Arkansas. She needed a 995 to avoid a loss to the Razorback and got just that. Hudson's 995 gave the Tide a tie with number four Arkansas and also gave her the floor exercise event title. Grant Nelson had a couple of monstrous dunks in the second half as he recorded the team's second double-double and his first of the season with 14 points and 11 boards in the Tide's upset win over eighth-ranked Auburn. Alabama sophomore Nick Dunlap became the first amateur since 1991 to win a PGA Tour event, winning the American Express. Dunlap won the event by one stroke at 29 under par. Over to the NFL, Houston Texans rookie Will Anderson Jr. was named the NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year by the Pro Football Writers Association. In addition to that honor, Anderson will also be making the trip to the Pro Bowl. Congrats to our players of the week. A great performance by gymnastics. Men's basketball took down number eight Auburn and history was made by Nick Dunlap. Incredible week and also congratulations to Will Anderson Jr. We love seeing that, him being the rookie of the year. Great honor for the Terminator. Hey, he always comes through. Roll Tide to that and thank you for watching another episode of Tide TV this week. We'll see you next week right here, same time, same channel. You can also watch this show online at RollTide.com and the official UA Athletics YouTube page again on YouTube. We'll see you next week, everyone. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. This has been a presentation from Learfield.